It's really, um, not to keep go on forever about North Carolina, but this is not a character we see in North Carolina almost ever. Uh, once once Kai stopped playing, uh, Rogelio, uh, of course, Stockfield stopped playing as well, and he was one of our only Rosalinas. So. All right, well, let's see how this goes. The buzz. Uh, it wasn't Wrath right here. I, I think, I'm pretty sure it was a button check, so. Oh, yeah, absolutely. But, I mean, the it's probably going to look just like this in the regular game, too, so. <laughs> Any bets on how long it's going to take before the first percent is dealt? Uh, I feel like the first stock will be taken around like the like the three minute thirty second mark. I think that's a pretty good guess. Yeah. All right, all right. So here we go. The buzz and wrath. Oh, I used to call it wraith all the time for some free reason. No idea why. <laughs> Oh, yeah, Wrath. Wrath, yeah. What do people normally say about this matchup? Uh, it's just, I mean, it's just a, it's, it's not even really the matchup. It's these yeah. two very but defensive styles clashing in one. Right. I'm not sure who they think wins this matchup. I feel like it'd probably go to Rosa. Yeah. It's like Rosa or even one of those sorts of things. Yeah. Yeah. And here we go. Yep, we're seeing it. Yeah, man, so, yeah, it's going to be a very slow-paced game right here. We have the defensive wall of uh, the Buzz, and then also, you know, Wrath not really want to just straight-up approach for no reason, so. Wrath at 39%. Not too much to uh, to talk about, but more than I was kind of expecting in the first 30 seconds. Okay, there's a neutral through that situation, so. Right Ooh. at this point in time, though, it, it really comes down to who's got the lead. And so, yeah. Uh, yeah, man, look at that. Only 1% between these two uh, competitors, but whoever has the lead is... It's really in the power in this set. Oh, yeah, and Wrath is backing up here. Previously in uh, games that we saw earlier today, he kept advancing and spin dashing and shielding just to gain that extra stage control, and then eventually he would go in, you know. Yeah. But here it looks like he's content to stay back, as he definitely needs to. All right, managed to get that air dodge through and also kind of break that uh, grab. I think probably with a four tilt, so. Mm. Well, he's got to land now. At 91, Wrath's pretty far behind here. Can't just get a spin dash combo and bring it back. Yeah. All right. Back on stage. Oh, goes underneath Luma. Yeah, these guys are pretty much just jockeying for position right now, but it's really easier for, it's much easier for the Buzz to do that with uh, having basically two characters at his disposal. Of course. Ooh. Ooh. Sneaky grab. On the fourth, though, to get rid of Luma. Yeah, finally gets rid of Luma, so he might play a little aggressively now that he has the time. Oh, man, I was expecting the forward smash right there, trying to see if he could catch the timing. Yeah. And should be coming back. Yep, there it is. So right, right back into it, and the jab actually going to finish that Luma as well. Nice. And we've got about death percents for both characters right now, so could see something happen. Ooh, that was a little bit nerve-wracking. Ooh, we wow. Was that dash attack? That was dash attack. Wow, yeah. okay. <laughs> All right, well, I was, uh, I was almost there. Uh, first stock was taken in, in like 2 minutes and 30 seconds of gameplay, so. Yeah, not too time. far. Yeah. Okay, DeBuzz just has a tremendous lead. No reason to approach. Yeah. Oh, okay. nice. Yeah, he's getting really sneaky with these uh, with these pivot grabs, though. I think someone said earlier today on commentary, I don't know if Wrath knows another way to grab other than pivot grab. <laughs> <laughs> I feel that. Yeah. All right. So Wrath. He's definitely not using the kill options I'd expect. You know, there I was thinking, you know, back here, of course, you know, on the platform and all that sort of stuff. But he's, yeah. he's holding off. Yeah, it seems like, I feel like that's maybe he doesn't want to, like, put himself in a too bad a position. I mean, I did just see him throw out an up smash. Uh, <laughs> but it seems like, you know, he doesn't want to, like, go off stage or do anything like that. The up smash, again, almost taking that second stock. Keeps using that forward tilt. Oh, wow, there it is. Yeah. Name of the game so far seems to be Wrath occasionally just doing advancing back air. All right. Trying to get back on stage here. Managed to keep his jump. Ooh, oh, Okay. Just barely had space on stage to even get that spin dash to register. Yeah. 
lot of vertical movement coming out from Rath. Nice. nice. There we go. Got both hits of that, too. He did, yeah. About four minutes of game time. Not too bad. That was actually kind of a, <laughs> a normal game. Way more jabs than a normal game, but mostly normal. So apparently we are up now. Oh, we are up. Oh, amazing. yeah. So you know, some people, some people, in my my Discord are saying that they're they're watching. So I guess, guess we are up now, right? Awesome. Yeah. Cool. Sick. All right. Uh, here we are in two game two. We finally get up, and it's Wrath versus the Buzz. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it ought to be good. It'll be a good start. Uh, I mean, that means we should have it for tomorrow, which will be really, really exciting. Yeah. I mean, that's not having it for top eight would would. Deeply sad to me, but yeah, uh, I think I think we'll be good by tomorrow. You know, get some of that stuff uh, hashed out overnight. Come back stronger than ever for Famicom Day Two, the finals day. Yeah. Okay, looks like we've got a oh never mind a slight lead for Wrath now. It's too close to really call much. Each character can get a lot off of one hit here. All right, trying to spin through that situation, but Wrath. I mean. And this Raz counter pick too. I wonder. I wonder. I guess he probably wants more spaces to land, so that way he doesn't keep getting up smash every time he decides to go for spring. You know what I mean? Maybe. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. he's, he's taking a lot of damage just trying to get back down to the ground. And oh my God, there's wow. no way he's getting away from that. Yeah. That shook air dodge gets you every time. Now he's tremendously behind. And honestly, in these sorts of matchups, like I was watching um, Gale versus Fatality earlier, and mm -hmm. one of them would kill the other one, and I'd be like, it's basically <laughs> no more advantage than when they started. You know, they just died so fast. Yeah. But here, there's so much that you have to cover up, so much that you have to go through. This feels like just a, a huge mountain to climb. All right. Okay, gets out that situation, but also going to move uh, quite far away, get stomped on. Nice. Pulls him up right there. Oof. Nice. So rather now trying to challenge, uh, you know, these up airs and this, this upward assault from the buzz with the actual down airs. But, you know, the, the halos that the buzz gets for using up air and up tilt and things like that are disjointed. So. Absolutely, yeah. D disjointed, they've got that uh, transcendent, you know, pro property. Yeah. Ooh, nice landing right there, just outside the grab range. Nice. The buzz getting out that situation. Yeah. Never get into a roll war with Sonic on the ledge. <laughs> you always win. Okay, I mean, uh, right now, I mean, I feel like Wrath is still trying to play like the standard Sonic game, but the buzz has been able to punish almost every spin dash over him with a dash attack or an up smash. Yeah, DeBuzz honestly has just been playing level-headed and uh, getting exactly what he needs to this whole time. Like you were saying before, that kind of robotic thing that's working. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right. So that's going to go ahead and jump straight back. Still put himself out of the range that he needs to be in. I mean, he has no projectiles, has no way of really dealing with Luma or Rosa uh, up close, you know, from afar. So, Ooh. Looks like Wrath is really taking use of that drop off ledge double jump air dodge. Close. That's unfortunate. Maybe maybe just needed to hit it with a F tilt instead so he can at least bounce it into an F smash. But mm. F smash taking a little time, allowing um, the buzz to you know pull it back. Oh wow! And clipping him with that up air, killing Luma on the side. Finally. So this could be uh, this could be good for Wrath, but he is already at 128 on his last stock while we still have the buzz. With two stocks, so even if he gets this one, he has a hard fought battle ahead of him. That's true. And Sonic not one to be able to just kill Rosalina out of the blue. Oh yeah, there we see it. And speaking of killing out the blue, I was I was saying I feel like Rosa like Luma just came back uh for that up air. Just for that up air. So. Oh yeah, yeah. We've been seeing a pretty good amount of that today. I mean, earlier, way, way earlier, uh like end of pools or something like that. The buzz was uh as soon as Luma would appear just catching those hits and Catching a lot of stocks. All right. So, Wrath, I mean, like, I don't really know what he can do to adjust, but it seems like he's about to swap characters, maybe? He's, he's like, in the, he's in the control screen. Yeah. And that's definitely him. So, Forging. he's about to swap characters, or he is uh, just, you know, kind of throwing yeah. caution to the wind right now. Yeah. I'm not sure what his normal controls are, so this is no bearing on. <laughs> yeah, that was a. It's weird that he put shield on Z. I mean, like, I know he wanted to move it, yeah. Uh, but 
you know, he has grab on L, and which is like, all right, you know, you have yeah. grab shield, but shield on Z, like. So that, that, that motion, oh. you know, the pinching motion to do it so often, that kind of hurts my hand a little bit. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, we have a, have a bayonet out. I didn't even know he had a bayonet out. I, I had no idea. All right. He's thinking about it. He's not quite there yet. Oh, nope, going straight back to Sonic. Yeah, he's just keeping it with the same old game plan. Wow. Okay, so we were really... I would have never expected that. Hmm? I would have never expected him to have a... A Bayonetta? Uh, yeah, a Bayonetta, but I guess he's opting to kind of just circumvent doing that. Yeah. Wants to believe in the Sonic here. He is going to have to bring, I think, some aggression to the table because his defense is not nearly as, as compact as uh, DeBuzz's defense in this set. Oh, nice. Catch that grab right there. You know, I'm not too sure what Wrath can really be doing differently, you know. It's one of those situations where it feels like, you know, you just have to guess better than the other guy. Yeah. And he's definitely not guessing right now, so. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, double. Surprised we haven't seen Starbits for so long. Yeah, I mean, he was using them earlier, like at the beginning of the first game, but he's kind of circumvented doing that. I think he doesn't really need him at the, with the way he's playing. I mean, it's another option for him to explore, but as long as he can keep putting uh, Wrath in the air or forcing Wrath to think that he needs yeah. to uh, spring, mm -hmm. he, then he has the gameplay on his side. He's just really been covering Wrath's landing the entire time. Right. I think the Starbits was maybe something of, like, I haven't figured you out yet. This is a low-risk, low-reward type of deal. Yeah. yeah. And now he's got Wrath a little bit more figured out, and we're seeing that. Wow. Okay. Double down smash. Rat taking a lot of time with that. Looked like he might have had an opportunity, but didn't find it. Yeah, Rat got to watch the shield right there. Almost held that for way too long. Yeah. Wow. Rath able to get back on stage, but each time it feels like, oh, never mind. If we get the down smash. <laughs> All right. Okay. And the buzz, I'm surprised he actually didn't, like, step forward and try to charge. He's on a smash. I think he could have done it out of range, but yeah, you know, opts to go for the, the safer punish. Just dash attacking after, and Wrath trying to roll back, but the buzz scouted that one immediately. All right, we go and catching the first hits of the second stock on Wrath. Looking, honestly, just like the last game. Yeah, I mean, he, he still doesn't seem to have the answers right now on, on what to do uh, against the buzz in, the, in, this, in this defense. Uh -oh. Nice. Mm. Goes for the first attempt on the catching the up B, but afterwards seems to just mostly give up. All right. Okay, another up air right there. Wow, jumping over Luma. Okay, so Rath actually, uh, this is the closest he's ever been to being able to take a game so far against the Buzz. Uh, he has taken some stocks, but he's never taken a stock this early. That's right. Only at 16%. If he gets just about any, any confirmed, he right up with him. All right, yeah, the Buzz looking for him to kind of cross him up this time around, but he's definitely been mixing up how he's been landing with his air dodge. Sometimes, though, you know, if you're going to land that close to the ground with the air dodge, you might as well just not even use it. <laughs> That's right. Because like, you're going to get punished before you hit the ground. So it's like you'll land on the ground, and if for some reason they miss their attack, then you uh, then you get a punish now. Right. Oh, wow. Just as Luma spawns, able to get that jab. Oh, like nice. Yeah. He's trying a lot more landing up airs. Sometimes get some mileage off of it, but never too much. And again, that shield looking extra small right now. But, he, you know, he's definitely okay with stepping back. Don't have to uh, rush it by any means. Ooh. Nice. If only, if only Rosa had a jab lock. <laughs> that would be terrifying. <laughs> right? <laughs> All right. So now this, is the, this has been the hard part for Rath the entire time. He's just finding his way back down to the ground. Finally does it here, but oh, okay. And the stall out, just enough for him to not take that up smash. But DeBuzz actually going a little bit further in that time, advancing with Nair. Rats figured something out, but 
might not be quite enough. Oh. Nice. Very smart. Very smart right there. That is a setup that a lot of people have a hard time getting around. And uh, luckily for Sonic, he's got that home attack. Yeah. Back Those throw. All right. So even when, I mean, the buzz in the lead. So he doesn't have to do much in this situation except for just wait for Luma to come back. Yeah, Wrath trying to not give him that opportunity, but what more can he do? Wow. Oh, oh wow. Wow. So fast. He actually, he stole that game. He did. <laughs> I was not expecting him to actually even get up there uh, with, you know, all the rage that he had. I wasn't expecting the bus to not do anything, and then I also wasn't expecting that up air to kill. Yeah. I honestly didn't expect that up air to connect. He did it so fast. Yeah. All right. So, Wrath, uh, finally, finally get himself a game here. Yeah. 2-1 against the Buzz now, making it look a little bit more possible, but this is the first time the Buzz actually gets his counter pick. Never mind, we're back to Smashville. Forget what I said. All right. Starting off here and actually more campy than the previous games, interestingly enough. Yeah, man, Wrath probably got a little bit of confidence now. Maybe he did fix some, figure something out. You know, he, he thought about switching over to the Bayonetta, SWAT decided not to, stayed with the Sonic, and finally got himself a win here. Nice. Able to go through those jabs. Oh, wow. Rolled out. Hey, yeah, you, don't, you don't get to see that happen too often. Yeah, that timing's pretty difficult. Okay. Wrath definitely getting something started right now. Oh. Wow. Gotta watch yourself, man. Oh, it looked like he almost had that timing. Another Ooh. 40 here. Short hop forward air out of shield. Yeah, that's smart. I mean, a lot of hitbox right there, and also got the chance to drift back just in case I was blocked. That's right, yeah. Definitely a super smart move. Wrath not only figuring something out, but pulling out some new things. Oh, yeah. Good catch by DeBuzz. Ooh, spin dashed just a little bit outside of that grab range. Yeah. All right, wow, what? <laughs> There's that first just, hit up air. Yeah, again. just one hit up air right there. Gets him out of that pressure, though. And the back air isn't enough. It is not. Oh. Seems like he was going to try to take out of that. I, I think he maybe thought it was enough. So that's why he didn't do anything to the Luma. Right. But, uh, yeah, man, a little lead, a bit of a lead here. Oh, the oh. stop, is that enough? It is not. Try to recover high here. And wow. he actually succeeds. Goodness. Yeah, I'm surprised he actually got through all of that. The roll in maybe this time? I feel yeah. like if he got the roll out, just one time go for the roll in and see if you can get it. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's a little harder to do when the spacing is correct for the, uh, Rosaluma, but in that situation, he would have definitely got behind her. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. Fourth throw. Not quite going to KO, but definitely a back throw will. Yeah, if he gets that, that pivot grab that we're all knowing. Oh, okay, or wow. the back air works out too. The buzz. I mean, only needs to get one more win to get into one of the semis right here, but I have to say, yo, I'm going to make this a little hard at least. Ooh. Yeah, Wrath definitely a fan of jumping off and air dodging, but it's working for him so well this game, I can't really criticize. Ooh. Nice. nice. Yeah, yeah. Not going to be enough to take the stock yet, though, but still, he has definitely been catching uh, Wrath every time he tries to spin shot over him. So, and there, you know, got him on a clean back air. Really had nowhere to go in that situation. Yeah. Mm, tries to delay the timing just a little bit, but the buzz was ready. Nice use of the star bits right there. All right, now, you know, the buzz, you know, still out here trying to conduct with Luma. It has the wall back up. Uh, doesn't really have too much of a lead for him to run away with. But, you know, he does have the lead. You know, so he is allowed to play a little more defensive. You know, it really, as I said earlier, it really does come down to who has a percent lead uh, and who was allowed to play more of the whole punish game instead of the aggressor. Exactly. Yeah. Now we don't see too much of a difference in percentage right now, but looks wow. Yeah, Wrath definitely has figured something out. Is able to get in between those timings that before he was just too scared to even try. Okay. Jabbing him up and looks for the up smash, but not gonna hit the correct way. <laughs> Just fell right on top of the buzz. 
I like that recovery. Yeah, that was smart. But also, I like the buzz kind of putting a, a little bit of pressure on him with that looming back air threat. Mm -hmm. Ooh, kind of went off slow. Yeah, Raptor's really picking and choosing some good spots to land after he uh, hits the shield with a spin dash. So, hey, every time I, <laughs> every time I see the neutral be. I, uh, in, uh, against a grounded opponent, I always hear Kai in my head say, just spot dodge it, man. <laughs> All right. Oh, wow. That was close. And Ooh. the down air, is it enough? Not enough yet, but he's definitely setting it up. The buzz. I mean, he is going the distance to try to finish his game as, as, as a game four and not let the go game five. We're down to the wire here, though. And Rath is trying mm. some new... Uh, you know, some new tricks here. And, and uh, right there, in, in those situations, I kind of expected DeBuzz to just turn around and go for the up smash, but... Yeah, he's playing really conservative right now. Definitely doesn't want to lose Luma. Yeah. Oh, both players are so scared right now as Wrath is doing the spin dash cancels and DeBuzz is only doing jab one. Oh, wow. okay. Back, Back throw. throw. Oh, I think that was neutral air he landed with right there, but he's still living. And we're actually down to under a minute for the first time this set. Oh, wow. Got up the gentleman. Got up the second hit as well. Oh, with no tech. tech. Hit. Wow. Dominant stomp right there for uh, the buzz too, man. That He, need, he needed that one. Yeah. He needed that one because if it went to a game five, it could have been a real problem. So the buzz looked like he was giving him some, some, some tips or at least some congratulations. Wrath is like... 17 and he's like way taller than the bus. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yeah, he's actually going completely off the camera. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, either way, good showing for them. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the game was definitely coming down, down to the wire and it really yeah. it, re it really was up to Raph to like make a, a, a statement or a play right there for mm -hmm. him to try to get it to game five. And I think that kind of cost him at the end. Not to say that he was getting reckless, but he had to do something, you know. And right. I'm sure he looked up, saw the clock, had 40 seconds left, and, you know, not really, not really much time that you can work with to yeah. try to take, uh, take out Rosalina and Luma at the same time. Mm -hmm. So, and he was so close with that ending there, so so close. 